Okay, welcome back. We are back, and it seems the power is back on. It just flashed for a second. It's been raining all day, so I don't, I'm not too surprised. But um, this is the road east, so we can't miss the Ashlanders, I guess, by heading this way. I marked back at the old Ebonhar because I didn't want to get too lost in these lands. I do want to return to Morrowind proper. And um, continue where we left off there. We did not even go see Caius yet. And I want to go take him his package so we don't have to carry it around. Um, sorry about any background noise, guys, but yeah. So. So I meant I didn't want to get too far lost out here to where we're um, so far away from Bardenfell. Where could these people be? These Ashlanders. guys oh are these the Ashlanders oh ancestral tomb down there they are and I don't see a horse oh dear oh dear oh dear So that's that thing, guys, huh? He done had a meal. I'm listening. Go ahead. Yes, Outlander, what is it you want? Uh, seen a horse? Hmm, yes, you could say I've seen a horse. You must be Yvonne and say that. Yes, that's us. Roz? Oh, you mean the horse. You're a bit late. We've already butchered and started eating the creature. Doesn't taste anything like Gwari, even less like Nixhound. Strange beast they have in the West. As for our deal, we were under the impression your friend the Knight had sold it to the Gwar herder. Our trade with her was fair and forthright. We suspected no ill doing. If what you say is true and the herder sold us what wasn't hers, then take this bow and arrows to the Knight. With our apologies. Mer Armacod and 15 flame arrows. We would, however, appreciate it if you did not tell him where we are. Outlanders tend not to be understanding, nor forgiving. Okay. Uh, she was a good horse, full of fire, very nourishing. May her spirit give us strength. Do you know about Red Mountain? Red Mountain is the great mountain of fire in the center of Vardenfell. The outer slopes are steep and rugged, and the crater is deep and filled with burning rock. Beasts and servants of the devil Dagoth Ur live on Red Mountain. The settled people built a magical barrier called Ghost Fence to keep the evils inside. Within the Ghost Fence, rain never falls and the sun never shines. The only weather is the red and deadly ash blade. You know something about Bretons? Bretons are outlanders, foreigners, westerners. They don't belong here. They should go back to where they came from. Any rumors about? They call them corpus beasts. They come from Red Mountain. Once they were men, then blight storms come. They walk in the storms. They get sick, grow fat and stupid. Now they wander like man beasts, killing and eating. Very bad, very bad. Dagother? Dagother is the devil and the enemy. Dagother and his beasts and servants are the source of many evils that beset the Dunmer and Morrowind. Dagother dwells in fiery caverns beneath Red Mountain, served by his kin called Ash Vampires and by legions of deformed monsters. And you train... Oh, you train Block, no kidding. Um, let's see what your, what your buddy trains. Hello, seen it? 
You come here to talk about the horse, you should talk to Yavin. Yavan. Roz, the Obeyna have fallen on hard times, and the horse would have sustained us for months. I was going to bring it back to our tribe in Rothwarren, but Yavan had other ideas. That, and I can't imagine such a hefty beast swimming the Thir River. Seen a horse? Afraid we have. <laughs> oh boy. Well, not the happiest of endings. Did that woman put starch in my shorts? Oh my goodness. How do you know about starch? <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, we can actually take that. They don't seem... I'm not taking that, but they don't seem to uh, be too bothered by it. It's 12 weight, though. For 19 value. Not exactly worth taking. But uh, I will go ahead and pad your pockets and get a... Well, actually... Um, would you like 10 gold? Oh, yes, Ozerian. That may be some help. Nice. Now he really likes me. Look at that price. I can almost get two of them. Block. Decreases 17. And... Oh, just about. Uh, heck, let's get a point of athletics. Why not? Train around here. He deserves it. Well, of course he ate the horse, but well, nobody's perfect. All right, so let's head back. Um, oh, let's check out what he gave us, the bow and arrows. Technically, I don't have to really give them to anybody. Uh, 1 to 10 damage. Detect animal 50 to 150 feet for 10 seconds. Fortify marksman for 10 points for 30 seconds. Very nice. And the 15 flame arrows. Fire damage 1 to 4. Attack 1 to 4. Very nice. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and recall then. Amulet of recall. Uh, any qualms about leaving? I mean, it is tempting to go in like an ancestral tomb over here. It's tempting to do a lot of stuff, but... Oh, acrobatics increased. I do want to get back to Morrowind proper. And, uh... You know... Sound over there. Yeah, I'm pretty good with this dwarven short sword all of a sudden. <laughs> kind of cool crawling in the High grass, Ooh, another Nick sound. Awesome. Yeah, it's way too high. It's just it's just needs to be updated, basically. Some of the terrain may have changed in the meantime and needs to be updated. Come over here, they have like a little nest over here. We should be practicing our spells as well. I guess they were feeding on cork bulb. Um. Yeah, I mean, we'll be back here someday, right? So, in that someday... We will explore more of this land. I'll just grab this stuff right here and... Call it a day. Uh, 
All right, let's uh, recall. Hopefully, town is not too taxing. Oh, I realize I lost my thermal. But yeah, it goes down to about 20. Yeah, town is pretty taxing. I'm going to have to work on that. Still, it's 40 in this direction. I see I stand in good company. Indeed. What can I do for you? Not much. Um... Yeah, if it gets choppy here, guys, I apologize. We will have that fixed for future. And Jazeera's rare goods. We could come see her. And we didn't steal anything from her, I don't Go think. Ahead, so what do you need? She shouldn't, Good you know, hunting. jump on us. Good hunting. Good tidings, friend. How might I help a fellow citizen of the Empire? Well, first of all, I would like to donate this ten gold to you. This is suitable, Alzerion. Now, let us do business. Um, <laughs> uh, blind, Temple Dome, Helm, you restore fatigue. Noble Sedge, damage health. We could do some alchemy rather than sell these, even though they are good value. We'll do some alchemy. I have to read a small kindness, Evan Hardy History, the Vivek Sermon. Why did I think we have something to sell? Oh, I was going to sell the flowers and stuff. Um, nope. I just donated 10 gold for nothing. Oh, uh, that's okay. It's an investment in the future. Do you happen to have any... Anything we need, I wonder. Durzog me. Rock gold. Nope. We don't have any money for books. Okay, then, uh... Should probably grab that kite and axe. That is all then. Let's go find Homie. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh. Yeah, if this is causing some serious lag in the video, I apologize. Wait, are you him? No. If I can be of any assistance, I'll be happy to help. Awesome. Very kind of you. Rayleth, nice pants. Anything I can do for you? Not at all. See. Ah, this way, I think. Here. Is there something you need? I think it was up this way. Is that him right there? Yes. Ah, welcome. What is it, friend? I have some bad news for you, Hormadak. Have you found Roz yet? I would give anything to feel her mane again, to hear her soft nicker, to hear her hooves crush our enemies beneath as we ride them down. Oh, Roz, please come back to me. Vanessa Sadrathi. She's a guar herder. Uh, about Roz. She's, she's dead? Roz, my sweet Roz. I had a bag of yams waiting for when you came back. How did she die? Who was responsible? <clears throat> um, 
Roz ran away and was eaten by wild animals. She, she ran away? Gods, I never should have put her in that filthy hovel. How could I have been so careless, so stupid? Oh, because I wanted to sleep indoors for a night. This is all my fault. I never should have brought her to this forsaken country. Morrowind, land of adventure, land of opportunity. My dreams lie beneath the bones of my darling Roz. Goodbye, friend. I'm leaving this wasteland for good. Here, take my lance and my shield, and my yams. I won't be needing them anymore. Lance of the Fiery Hoof. Wooden heater shield and five ash yams. Oh, well. Sorry about Roz. I don't know how I'll go on without her. This is Sadrathi. Yes, the pointy eared trainer who's supposed to look after Roz. I hope she rots. Oh, we're over encumbered. Um, let's look at the lance. It is. Oh, it's a demon Tonto. Wow. Not bad for a spear user. 5 to 23 thrust in 10.8 feet. And fire damage 3 to 7 points. The shield is a wooden heater shield. Armor rating of 2 and it's a weight of heavy. And the ash yams. Okay. So in the meantime here, we're 17 pounds overweight. We should go ahead and... Do I have a fortify strength? Huh. Let's see here. Thought I had... Yeah, this, the Amulet of Mighty Blows. Gonna put that on. And, um... Get to, uh... A cellar. ASAP. Go to Al Jazeera. Get there in time. Might have to just go with this right here. And mercy is this quality wears. Oh no, I don't know what I took from him. Oh boy. Well, we should be okay. Silver Viper Slayer. Firebite Sword. Okay, we want to get rid of the Heater Shield. We want to get rid of the... Oh, we get to keep... The bow and arrow, that's interesting. We saw the lance of the fiery hood. Actually, though, um, I'd like to make a donation to your store. This is suitable Alzarian. Yeah, that's better. What is your background? I am Emer Emercius Ludovil, head of the. L oh, we already heard that. Okay, um... Alright, the Heater Shield. Lance of the Fiery Hoof. It is cool. I would like to use it if I ever was a... a spear user, but... I'm just going to get rid of it. It's not worth very much. It's giving 88 for both of it. Dang. Um, but this thing, or Armacod, that is pretty nasty. Marksman 10 points, detect animal. It's a weight of 2 versus Arbo, which, yeah, 1 to 25. It's a weight of 8, though. But it does have bound longbow as well, which is better. So I'm going to take this, even though it's a, I shouldn't say legendary item, it's a named item. Uh, maybe with the weight of two, we can hang on to it a little bit. And the flame arrows, of course, we could use those. Uh, I guess that's that then, selling both of those.
91, sir? Oh, you can do 91. Wow. 90 it is. 90 it is. Oh my gosh. 89 then. Good gravy. <laughs> Alright, uh... So, let's see how long we've been playing for. 20 minutes? 20 minutes? Oh, I'm still thinking I'm in the process of testing all this. I did not even see this. The trap door to his basement. That is wild. And we're getting, like, tons of FPS in here. Oh my gosh, there's a master's one right there. No way to grab it though, but the nine and the empire. The nine and the empire, citizen. Indeed, indeed. The nine and the empire. Guard. Okay, so now that the horse quest is taken care of, I don't think there's anything I really want to get into right now here. Uh, five pieces of Dweeber scrap metal. That stuff is heavy. At least in the base game it is. Some ingredients to make Neil Gaimont make a portrait. Alchemical ingredients to restock the Mage's Guild. Find Daedric gems. That stuff we can do over time. I think... We should, let's see. Solicit alms for the poor and out rune. We could do that next. Go back to raising alms, or we could actually go report to Kaya. So, best bet right now would be would be to head back down to the uh, ships. It's very cool here. We'll explore more in the future. But I don't want to make it just exclusively here because this is sort of the cherry on top, I feel. Whereas Morrowind is the real meat and potatoes. Although Tamriel Rebuilt definitely has the meat on the bones. But um, I think it would be cool if... Uh, Come here later, even though this is a decent starting area, I've heard. Alright, where's our ship? Back to Morrowind. Go ahead. It's so tempting to go in all these buildings and stuff, but... Oh, we'll head back to Vivek. Look at it, we can see Red Mountain from here. That's incredible. You want well, what is it? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I want to trip back to Morrowind. Or Bardenfell. Is this the... Is this the ship? You seem to be doing alright for yourself. What can I do for you? Thank you, Sotalia. Huh, you do not trade. Don't think we've been introduced, Traveler. I'm Sotalia small chest oh 25 gold in it she's she can see me Only 25 gold Nibbins wind hold this is the way I got here how do I how do I get back Do you know? Ah, it is you. My ship, the Scarling Queen, can take you from Old Devonheart to Andothran, Almister, Darvonis, Ebonheart on Vardenfell, or Vivek City. Uh, uh. I think we want to head to Vivek. Vivek Foreign Quarter. Oh, let's see how the FPS reacts in Vivek. 
surprisingly, so far so good. Hello. May I help you? Welcome to Vivek Elzerian. I'm sure you have some questions. What would you like to know? You travel? I can take you from Vivek to the mainland cities of Andathrin, Darvonis, or Old Eminor for a fair price. Any rumors? I've heard that Mion Guy, the Enchanter, is getting really fed up with some obno obnoxious Breton selling wares outside his shop. Ridiculous what some people would do to earn a drake. Hmm. Alright. Oh, I'm so happy that this game is performing well now and looking even better than ever. How blessed we are, guys. How blessed I am to be playing this, like... Not saying you guys are blessed to be watching me, but I mean... Blessed to be seeing this awesome game, I think we can all agree, because... This is just amazing what they've done with this, and... Oh, man... The fact that it all works, like back in the day when I would mod this and play, there'd be a lot of errors, there'd be a lot of trial and error. It's still some trial and error, but it's so much smoother than before, especially with Open Morrowind. It's so much, so much smoother, and yeah, it's just incredible, guys. Let me look at this. This. Is nuts. What moon is that? Is that Moss or Secunda? Not sure, but. Huh. What a dream come true. <laughs> I think sometimes we can maybe, or at least I do, take for granted something like a good video game. Not even a good video game, just an amazing thing. Sometimes we kind of think the amazing, because we're so used to it, or because I'm so used to it, I feel like the amazing sometimes can be mundane. But then you really have to think, like, there's some amazing stuff in this world, and the fact we get to experience some of it is just awesome. We're right now going to head to the Vivic uh, Mages Guild. And from hello, go ahead. Like your outfit, sir. Wow, I don't believe I've seen a high elf with such a grand outfit in some time. Can I help you? What is your story? What's your background? I sell a little of this and a little of that. Now, are you buying something or not? You sell Redoran Mushroom Helm, huh? Telvani, Telvani Mole Crab Left Bracer. And Scuttle. 18 on the helmet. Is that an upgrade? No, unfortunately not. Not a bad little thing there to sell, though. Won't ask where you got it from. Any rumors? So Herd the Bandit has become Herd the Pirate? I guess he's decided to try his luck with seagoing banditry. How do you like the idea of Hurd and his mob in a boat? I hope they've invested in water-breathing potions. <laughs> Indeed, what about Vivek? Vivek is a city made up of nine cantons, each a little town in itself. Each great house has its own canton, and outlanders have their own canton called the Foreign Quarter. The arena is for public entertainments like mock battles and comic plays. Commoners and paupers live in St. Delane and St. Olm's cantons. But most of all, this is Lord Vivek's holy city. The Ministry of Truth, the Temple Prison, hangs above the Great Temple of the High Fane, the Halls of Wisdom and Justice, and Lord Vivek's Palace. It's a lot to take in there. What is the Ministry of Truth? It's a Temple Prison? Is that what he's saying? The Ministry of Truth was hollowed out to provide a prison and re-education center operated by the Temple Ordinators for the correction of heretics. Eek. That is a little rough. Uh, don't want to know what goes on in there. And the Great Temple is the High Fane. The High Fane is the largest tribunal temple in Vardenfell. 
Archcanon Saryoni presides over the temple, along with a large staff of priests, healers, and monks. Pilgrims travel from all over Morwen to view the High Fane and the Ministry of Truth, and to offer prayer and thanks before the Palace of Vivek. I'm so used to saying Vivek, but it's probably Vivek. I don't know. The Palace of Vivek, you say. The Palace of Vivek is the abode of the mortal form of the god hero, Lord Vivek, the warrior poet of the three deities who comprise Amsibi, the divine patrons of the tribunal temple. Only the most devout are admitted to the presence of Lord Vivek. Vivek? Yeah, I think it's Vivek. And only at his initiation, beneath the palace of Vivek, is the Puzzle Canal, a place of worship and testing for questing heroes, hoping to receive Vivek's favor. <laughs> Many choice treasures are guarded by Daedric servants in the Puzzle Canal's dark passages. Puzzle Canal. Beneath the palace of Vivek is the Puzzle Canal, a place of worship and testing for questing heroes, hoping to receive Vivek's favor. <laughs> you just said all that. Um... Uh, what is St. Ohms? St. Delane and St. Delane... St. Delane... I call it Delane, but it's probably Delane. Delane? St. Delane Cant... St. Delane Canton and St. Ohms Canton are residence cantons for commoners and paupers. The temple charges very reasonable rents for comfortable workshops, shops, and apartments. And most of Ardenfell's crafts and light industry is housed in these cantons. The Abbey of St. Delane the Wise is on the top tier of St. Delane, and Halalu Counselor Yingling Half Troll is the top tier manor on St. Ohms. Cool. Do you have a little advice? If you need to earn some money to support yourself while you're in Vivek, try the Imperial Guilds in the Foreign Quarter. They often have odd jobs for willing adventurers, and ask tradesmen and craftsmen you meet. They often have simple errands that need doing. The pay is small, but the goodwill gained by serving local people and the experience traveling around the city may be worth more than the gold you earned. Indeed. Alright, very nice talking to you, Leonda. Leondi. Leonda, I don't know. Can't pronounce anything in this game. <laughs> Look at this, though. There's some mountains. Is that Red Mountain? Yes, that is. Red Mountain, guys. Wow. So wild. While we're here, we could be practicing uh, Father's Hand. Data. Is this the way in? Upper waist works? No. It's not the way. We have to go all the way to the top. Ah, illusion skill increased to 25. How close are we to a level? It seems we've got we're getting a lot of uh, miscellaneous skills and stuff. 3 out of 10. Foreign quarter. Wow, look at this, even crazier. You can see the ghost fence from here. There's a Dweamer Ruin. Oh my gosh, guys. Silt Strider. Wow. Wow. Ah, just breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. See this guy walking around down here. Oh, stumbling around. Better watch you don't fall off here, buddy. You don't want to talk? Can't cut your tongue? Uh, did you stumble around looking good, though. You dress well. Lunge up the stairs. 
All right, here we are. Almost home sweet home. Tidings. Tidings. It's over the smith. Oh, we do have a quest here too, don't we? Working for that smith. Yeah, we have to come down here and steal a contract from this smith. That's right, we never did that. Uh -huh. Okay, spear. Yes, sir. What do you want? Joe Trust. What is it? Joe Trust. Door block 30. Adamantium Curious, son? 10k? Whoa. Adamantium Greaves, 10k? Um. Hello? Welcome to Vivek Elzarian. I'm sure you have some questions. What would you like to know? Any rumors? Tennessee of Veloth has the divine disease, but she refuses to leave the city. Sir, do you need something? Uh, Dagger of Stalking. Fortify Sneak, 15 points. Fire damage, 5 to 10. Shevaram, Chitin, huh? You have two Adamantium Curuses, two Adamantium Greaves. Oh, you've got Pauljins. We can maybe afford them. No, not right now. I have to remember he has them, though. Those are only 800. He's got the whole set. Unbelievable. Oh, that's nasty. Nordic Short Sword. That's even better than... It's a Dwarven one. This value's 300. It's got better chop, though, and slash, so... Keep it 9 to 16, yeah. One point better. Adamantium Club, oh my gosh. <laughs> it only does 8 to 10, though. Oh, I'm starting to get a headache, guys. Being stuffed up again. Okay, so. Not much to do here. 20 throwing dice. Um, contract is probably through here, but how do I just open that without them attacking me, essentially? I don't know. Actually, let's see what would happen if I were to just undo these open door. Uh. Well, drink them if you got them. We have a restore magical potions, so we'll use one. We have a bounty. Yeah, five. And it'll take all our stolen items. And you're mad now. What about you? Do the guards... Let's just test this. Over here, do the guards come after me? No. But if I talk to a guard, it's going to turn in all my stuff that I stole. Which is quite a bit. Then we'd have to go find the evidence chest. Is there something I can do for you? No. Um, let's what words do you have for I suppose me? I have a what is it? Check it out, though. Yeah. Violated the law. Oh. Since you turned yourself in voluntarily, I'll take that into consideration. Pay four gold to the court and surrender your stolen goods. Or surrender your stolen goods and serve your sentence of hard labor. Deliver the gold immediately or come with me. Pay the gold. I accept this golden payment of the fines and compensation ordered by the court. And now you are free to go. But look at how much we lost, guys. So much. 
I mean, is it good to be carrying a bunch of stolen goods for that purpose? No, but... Uh... I don't know. What I could do... Is unlock the door and then go see someone who can take care of our bounty. But I don't know anyone at the moment. We're not part of the Thieves Guild or anything. Or Rog Tong. To kind of get out of that. Oh, you finally stopped moving. I love it. It's great. I'm going to save here, guys. It's a little early, I think, maybe. Ah, 40 minutes. We're right on time. But I hope you enjoyed this. Uh... Yeah, as I said, I'm so happy we got everything working perfectly. Now I can just focus on the LP. It's awesome. Uh, just great stuff, guys. So, hope you're digging the Let's Play. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned if you'd like. Smash that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Feel free to do those things if you want. They greatly help my channel if you'd like to do that. And until next time, guys, be well, live well, stay well. Uh, much love, peace to all of you. Thanks for sticking around. And come on back now, you hear? <laughs> peace, guys.